Hey everyone, Cookie here. Uh, this commentary I'm going to talk about sniping on Abandon specifically. And this is a match, it's double, doubles pro on Abandon, and it is at CSR 48, I believe. It's 48 or 47, I'm not really sure. But um, I don't get to snipe right off the bat in this game, but I do end up getting two snipes, So, and I do pretty well with them. So I want to explain to you about how you should play with snipe on Abandon, because from what I've observed, many people don't play correctly with snipe. And... Um, so, I think my teammate has a snipe right now. So, I'll explain to you what not to do initially with snipe. When you get snipe on Abandon, you shouldn't go to that back tree. You know, you shouldn't stay on beach and go up on that ledge and sit there and wait for people to pop out ring 2 or ring 3 and just, you know, try to play very passively with snipe. The reason why I say that is because if you, if your teammate dies, like if your teammate gets double teamed, then you're going to be there alone, and chances are you're going to get double teamed, and when you're double teamed uh, on that ridge back there, like the back tree, then you're pretty much, it's like an auto kill for them. Like, it's so easy to take out one person who's sniping when you have two people firing at them. So it's happened to me so many times where my teammate will be sniping on that ridge, I die, and then they die. Like, every time. They never get a kill because... That's not how you should play on Abandon with Snipe. Um, Abandon, more than any other map, I'd say, has like one power position that you just have to hold at all times throughout the game, no matter what weapon you have. And that's Ring 3, or just Ring Control in general. Because you can see right now what I'm doing. I'm looking down on beach. You have the high ground, and then you can go right here. You know, you can... You have, you have railgun control, first of all, if you have ring control, and you pretty much can always contest sniper. So, you know, there's no real disadvantage to going ring. If you go beach, they're going to have railgun control, they're going to have high ground, and unless you're a super, super good sniper, then, you know, you'll probably end up dying and giving that up as well. This guy gets, just gets turned on with rail. Alright, I think pretty soon I'm going to be getting my first snipe. But my teammate are doing pretty well, 8 to 5. You know, it's been pretty decent. They have railgun, so we're just trying to take him out. I end up taking him out, this guy rushes me, and I get the nice 4 shot on him. So we notice the snipe is up. I have to get this guy's railgun, and then we know they're going to be spawning beach, and they're going to be going for the snipe, so we both push it. You can't send one person to snipe when they're both beach. That's just a general rule. Alright, so this guy, I'm just trying to stay alive right here. Um, I'm just trying to figure out where he went. And I realized my teammate died. So what I'm going to do right here is just stay down, not reveal my position. I, I literally just double back to ring and I wait for my teammate to spawn. So we can both move in together. I end up railgunning one guy and then this guy's pretty much screwed. This is a perfect example of why you, you shouldn't stay beach with snipe. Once one person dies, you know, you're pretty much... You're not going to beat a BR if you have a snipe. And even if you do, there are, there are other teammates going to be there to finish you off. So, you know, don't don't go on beach with snipe. Like, almost ever. Unless, the only exception to that, I'd say, is if, is if they have a snipe as well. Then you can try to play passively. Because if they have a snipe, they're probably going to be using it. So they're not going to, like push you and be aggressive with BR, so if you're a better sniper than, the, than their sniper, you can probably end up getting a kill. So that's the only situation where I'd say you can stay beach with snipe, but after you kill that snipe, you have to rush ring 3. So you notice right now what I'm doing with snipe. I'm staying ring 3, I notice a guy middle tree, and I try to pick him off. I don't really do super well with this, with this initial snipe, but my sniping only gets much better from here on out, so you should keep watching definitely. So... I end up getting a body shot and finishing that guy off, and what I do when I spawn, I immediately go ring three. Um, it's just something you should always do. I notice one person's going to railgun, but then he comes back for some reason, um, and then he ends up picking me off. I call out to my teammate, there's one ring two, one purple, and he's playing pretty passively, but he's just trying to stay alive. This is very unfortunate what happens to me here. I know Airborne is weak. I try to finish him off. I get caught on the ledge. I miss my beatdown and end up getting beat down. 
That's pretty unfortunate. So we're up by four. We still had a pretty comfortable lead. But I noticed Snipe's up. All right, so in order to get Snipe, you have to know that they're, they aren't rushing it. And you should always expect at least one person to go for Snipe when it spawns, if you spawn Beach. So always look for that person contesting that Snipe. So you'll notice what I do right away when I get Snipe. I go to Ring 3, I go on this ledge, wait till my teammate moves in. And then what I do, since he's going up main ramp, I go down Ring 2, and I try to push. I get shots on this airborne guy, dodges rail, and I'm just trying to, you know, I'm weakening them. I know my teammate's pushing in, so what I want to do is go on the flank. Because the other team may be dropping down. They may be pretty weak. And you'll notice right now I'm not using my snipe. You don't necessarily always have to use your snipe when you have it. Especially on Abandoned where everything's pretty close quarters. If I would have had my snipe out right there, I probably would have not killed this airborne guy. So this is an example. We get two dead. Where are they going to spawn on Abandoned? They're going to spawn back tree. That's another reason why you shouldn't hold beach with snipe is because they always spawn beach, you have the high ground, and you can easily spawn kill them with snipe. So you should always stay ring 3. I think I hit that guy's head, but he didn't end up dying there. But you'll see that I was ring 2 with snipe, and my teammate pushed down to main ramp. And if he does that, chances are the enemy is going to spawn in purple forest. So I went ring 2, and I just pre-aimed purple forest, and sure enough there was a person there. Alright, I end up kind of panicking on this guy, but my teammate's here to help, and he ends up picking up the kill. So you notice what I'm doing with Snipe. I just, I know that they pushed up main ramp, so I want to stay pretty passive on gold, but at the same time I want to make sure I'm in a position to pick off the other team. So I notice my teammate's moving in, and there's the last guy live on ring 3, so... I move in with Snipe and I keep it out. This, you know, it's a questionable uh, decision. Most people would say just pull out your BR, but but it, with Snipe, trust me when I say you have to be ring control. Um, Abandon more than any other map, I'd say, um, improves your Snipe game because there are long range situations, there are short range situations, medium range situations, just, I mean, all of the above. So if you have Snipe on Abandon, just go ring three, you know, trust your shot. Don't play too aggressively, but also don't just sit back and play very passively because that pretty much guarantees that you'll die as well. This guy gets pretty much destroyed with the last shot in my snipe. But um, I think that's the last snipe kill I get. But you can see what I was doing with snipe. I was just pretty much patrolling ring, playing off of my teammate. I never went beach with snipe. Not once. Because it doesn't work. And uh, if you get a guy one shot and he runs away... When you have snipe, just call it out to your teammate. You don't need to push in. You have snipe. You have the long range advantage. If they pop out again, you can just hit your shot again. So, you know, you don't want to play super aggressively with snipe, but you also want to make sure that you're in a position to take them out if they do rush you. So, uh, right here we have the control, and, you know, we're just winding down to the last kill of the game. I try to juke this guy by going up here. I end up seeing him, but he pushes back to purple. So just to reiterate, this is a CSR 47 or 48, I'm not exactly sure, gameplay in doubles. And hopefully I explained to you pretty well about what you should do with Snipe, and especially what you, sh what you shouldn't do with Snipe. Even if you can't hit shots close range, uh, you know, you'll improve. This is pr pretty much the map to Snipe on in order to improve your Snipe. So just keep practicing and you will get better. So that was a 30-14 to 14 match, I ended up with 20 kills. And that is all, so more gameplays to come, like and comment if you want, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, that is all, so see you later.